Hi everybody, I am sorry I have not updated in a while, but I am here to update and to let everybody know what's going on. Well, a lot of things have changed since my last video. Um, I recorded some videos on my phone and I don't think I uploaded any of them. And most of them was live ovulation tests. So what I'm probably going to do is see if I can um, upload those after I upload this video so y'all can see currently um, what happened um, during the cycle and that, uh, um, well, when I ovulate or whatever. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I know I'm sounding confused, but I had a lot of things change recently. So, as you can see, I don't have any nails. And the nails I had, if you don't know, they were my real nails. The length and everything were my real nails. But the fact that I had my, I kept refilling my nails over and over again, the, um, the gel was too heavy for my nail bed and it started to, um, bend. And it was quite painful to have my nails that long. So, I was like, you know, it's time for me to cut them because that's not as long as I had them, but it's making them a little harder to type and things like that. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get them taken off. And the fact that I had so many nails that had, I believe, fractured in the middle from where it was too much strain and it was actually a, a cut through to the meat. Um, the lady told me I had to wait about two weeks before I go back to get my nails done again. So it's going to be a while before I do that. I, I do miss my nails, but I know that it was better for them to not be on because it was causing too much strain on my nail bed. So, that was one. And um, the other one is I'm no longer working. Uh, my job let me go, but I digged another job a few days later. And so, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'll just be working for... TurboTax instead and I'll be working from home so that is also something else that's new and exciting and also because I was the first one hired for that job I was able to pick my hours um, which I picked 8 to 4 Monday through Friday off the weekends it is a part time position so I will have definitely have off of the weekends and then I guess a day or so during the week and then it is temporary but of course like any job if you do a good job or you show um, good commitment and things like that then they'll choose to keep you on and the pay is more than what I was being paid at the other location I was at and it's through a different staffing agency so I'm just going to keep going and do what I have to do because all oh, honestly it's keeping the income coming in and it kind of sucks that yeah I got let go of my job but I was there for four months and I really um, started to not like it as much as I used to and it was dealing with a lot of things in the job company itself and I know it's everywhere but I just really couldn't handle it so I'm actually kind of glad that it happened anywho on to the cycle update I am cycle day 20 Four or 25 I believe so I'm really early in my cycle but it looks like I have it on cycle day 16 so that will basically get me 9 DPO today and um, I do want to do a live pregnancy test and see what, see what it says uh, all my pregnancies just about I got my positives on 9 DPO my little phase, which is the second half of your menstrual cycle after ovulation, is between 11 to 12 days. So 9 DPO may seem like it's early to some people, but because my little phase is only 11 to 12 days, I can I normally get my positives around that. The earliest I've ever gotten a positive was 7 DPO, but that was my chemical back in February. So I'm kind of excited hesitant scared to see how this cycle is going to end for those of you who don't know i did do a medicated cycle unmonitored of course but i did tell my ob about what i what i took so i was honest with them and i'll let you know about my ob my appointment and my blood work that i actually did a video on but then i upload uh what i did 
what I asked my endocrinologist when I went to her last month. So, um, I did 150 milligrams of Clomid, several days 3 to 7. And on Saturday 16, when I got a positive OPK, I triggered with 4,000 HCG units. I did not do anything higher than 4,000 because one only had uh, three vials of 2,000. So I was just like, you know, I'm going to leave it at four and hopefully it works. Because I know they say over a certain BMI, you need 20,000 or 30,000. But <coughs> I decided to try 4,000. So as of right now, I uh, am waiting to see what happens. I am 11 days past my trigger, so anything that would show on the test now would definitely be from a potential pregnancy because my trigger was so low and it's been so long. And I did actually test my trigger down, so I can um, do a video about my trigger shot and me testing it down. Uh, if you would like, but uh, yeah, I did test it out. I used um, clinical guard, and then once my clinical guard ran out, I started using Walmart cheapies from um, the, the 88 cent Walmart cheapies, and um, they're pretty good tests, so it was really worth using to test everything down. Other than that, when I went to my endocrinologist, this was, this was before. This was mid-cycle. This was actually mid-cycle. It was cycle day 10 when I went to her because I remember, I mean 9 because I did blood work cycle day 10. So cycle day 9, I went to her and I told her, I said, you know, my hair is falling out very bad, which I'm still scared to show my hair on camera. That's why it's covered up. And um, I wanted to be tested for hypothyroid, hyperthyroid, um, anything that could possibly be hormone related. I wanted to be tested for, you know, I told her, I said, I have maintained my weight loss. My weight at that appointment was 241. Um, if anybody don't remember, I started at 299.300. And I, I've lost uh, basically 60 pounds total. So, um, my goal is 100 pounds for the year. I do have some keto items. I'm not going to go into that process because that's a whole different video that I've been trying to bake keto and cook keto and it's not easy but it's something that I'm going to do to achieve my goal for this year so anyway I asked her for tests and she tested me for everything I had five pages of tests um, to be taken and there was a total of 13 tests that she ran it was my thyroid it was testosterone uh, per, no, testosterone, LH, FSH, DE, DHEA, um, A1C, prolactin, um, <clears throat> TSH, uh, she tested so much. My kidneys, uh, my complete uh, blood count, she tested everything. And I remember I said when I got my results and I had went to my doctor, I'll come back. Well, where I got my blood work from, my results came the same day. And would you happen to know, every test was normal. Um, I'm going to say that I was frustrated because I'm watching my hair fall out at a alarming rate to me. And you know my facial hair was getting it's getting ridiculous. I I do have a, a mustache that I do have to get waxed. Uh, my chin I do get hair on my chin and all the way. Uh, it's just ridiculous of how the facial hair growth has came. And I was just like, is my PCOS out of whack? What's going on? All my blood work was normal. Even my A1C level, which was 5.5, .5, which is technically normal because <laughs> now abnormal is 6 and up. So I'm not even in that range. But I, I guess I'm still categorized as insulin resistant. 
she mentioned about putting me on insulin when I came back, but uh, no one in their right mind would go on insulin with a 5.5 A1C. So no, I, I wouldn't need that. And I told her I stopped taking metformin because metformin made me super ill. Like I was, uh, when uh, example, when I first started metformin, yes, of course I had the side effects. But before I got pregnant with Shania, I was taking 2,000 milligrams a day without a problem. And while I was, no, 1,500. And when I got pregnant with her, I had to take 2,000. And I ended up still getting just diabetes I was able to take 2,000 without a meal and everybody who has taken metformin know that you need a meal because it will upset your stomach make you vomit and everything in between I was good with it but now even 500 makes me so sick to my stomach I'm back and forth in the bathroom and I said I can't handle that so that's why she suggested insulin but I wouldn't go on insulin if she even paid me no so I go back to see her on the 21st. That is my official um, follow-up appointment, but I'm pretty much sure she's going to say that there's there's nothing wrong with me. Um, I'm going to look into other reasons as to why my hair could be falling out. Uh, Vitamin-wise, I'm going to start taking extra vitamins just in case with me doing a keto diet really heavy like I was to drop the 60 pounds as fast as I did um, that maybe I um, could be deficient in some of my vitamins I know that my vitamin D was constantly low but that also comes to the territory of being or having PCOS is your vitamin D could be low because that also hinders in conception and implantation I do believe so <clears throat> That happened that way, and my blood work was normal. Even my prolactin level, which if anybody know, I have had prolactemia, which is, I've had hypoprolactemia, which is high prolactin. And prolactin is the hormone you produce when you're breastfeeding because it provides milk to your breast. It, it's the hormone that produces your milk. Well, for me, I don't have, I don't have the discharge, the milk discharge. I just have the hyper, hyper well, the high prolactin. Um, They've tried several times to do an MRI. They see I have a, a pituitary tumor and I just can't do the MRI. Anywho, last year my prolactin was 79. And then I got pregnant in September, so it, it must have dropped low enough for me to ovulate because if your prolactin is over 24, I believe, you will not ovulate because your body will already think that you're pregnant because that hormone is what produces um, milk. So that was basically what I got from it, and I, yeah. So it is possible to get pregnant with hyper, uh, hyperprolactin, but it is harder. Um, so yeah, even that was normal. So I was surprised at that. It was a, it was only eighteen point four. So all right, um, my OB. I went to him because I was having issues. I'm like, look, my cycle is not coming. I maintain my weight loss. I um, am active. My hormones are completely normal. So what is going on? So he really didn't have any suggestions for me except for it is the side effect of PCOS. But it kind of aggravates me to the fact that why would I have these issues? And I guess it's basically what it is is of from non ovulation because I. Um, I couldn't have my last cycle was 80 days and I actually had to uh, force it to come because it wouldn't come on its own so if I wouldn't have forced my cycle I wouldn't have been able to do my comid and I would think like how much longer would my cycle have went I was going on three months no cycle so I also told him that I did 150 milligrams of comid and his question was well where did you get it who prescribed it? I said I brought it online. <laughs> he was like, he chuckled and he was like, how did you buy it online? And I said, well, <laughs> it's a website you go to. He was actually interested in how you get that online. And <clears throat> I told him the process, you know, you go online, you order it, pay for it, they ship it to you. It comes from overseas. And he was like, okay. And I told him which days I took it and what cycle day I was, which I believe cycle day 19 then. I said, I still have a while to go before I see if it works. So he, um, and he started laughing. He said, okay. He said, you know, I want you to see a RE. So he referred me to a reproductive endocrinologist. Now, I went to call my appointment, but you have to initially put down 150. And I said, well, I don't have the 150 on me right now. 
so um, wait till next week which is my paid week so I was going to wait and coincidentally it's also the week that I should be getting a positive pregnancy test if I'm pregnant from my cycle so it would be a, a great blessing if I turn out to be pregnant because I wouldn't have to you know go to a RE so that is where everything stands as of right now I will post probably about three to four videos back to back and it's basically just catching you up on the cycle I've been so busy and doing so much since not working that I haven't had a chance to update and everything every time I think about it I'm like oh I need to make a video oh I need to make a video oh I need to make a video and I am still doing a giveaway I see I am at 400 and I believe 46 subscribers once I reach 500 I will do a big TTC giveaway um, so once that day come I will do a video about the giveaway and what it will all include so alright ladies it's already a 15 minute video I don't want to make it any longer sorry about my crappy background but I have my desktop over here which is a uh, uh, I don't have a webcam on my desktop and my lamp is over there with my desktop because that's where I do my schoolwork. And the, the light I'm using is from my kitchen, so that's why it looks so crazy. But it is what it is. I am not a professional YouTuber. I'm just a person that makes videos about my journey and my life. So, alright then, I'm not going to keep you any longer, I got to do schoolwork, and World of Dance is about to come on, which I love, by the way, and I will talk to everybody later, you will see me with the live pregnancy test, coming soon, wish me luck, bye!